Tío con usted y su ilustre patrón. Atentamente, Jeffrey Scott, representante de la casa del banco. <risa> eh, y eso. Diario de Jake Max, eh, diciembre del 79. Han pasado tres meses desde que, me to desde que tomé el mando de Edelgeist, el en detrimento de Becker. No aprobaron los cambios de, de normas todos mis colegas, por lo que ahora soy la única profesora aquí. No importa, con la contratación de varios enfermeros fuertes se solucionará la falta de personal. Por fin mi trabajo podrá prosperar sin la difunción... ¿eh? Disfunción que supone su mente inferior. Marzo del 80. El primer pago de R ha llegado. Nuestro trato conlleva riesgos, pero las posibilidades son infinitas si cumple su palabra. Mayo del, del 80. El primer envío de elegidos ha llegado. R ha enviado una gran selección de mentes frágiles. Uy, perdón por la hostia. Eh, la tarea que nos queda será difícil, pero sin duda alguna también útil para la propia investigación. Dos pájaros de un tiro. Kumi, pero si sí te, eh, te, te he dicho antes que mejor por la noche. <risa> Ay... Porque al final esto es cur. ¿O no te refieres a eso? Falta algo. Falta algo. Claro, es, eh, te expliqué que, o sea, cu cuando estoy en directo en este tipo de juegos, suele ser porque me los han dado, en plan, la propia empresa, la propia empresa para, para jugarlo y tal. Entonces, me, me sabe muy mal parar a medias, ¿sabes? Está, una prueba. No sé cuál es. ¿Eh? An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Claro. Tengo un montón de case así. Suelo hacer directo de, de, de este tipo de cosas. Porque me las ceden para jugarlo.
Okay. La tuya por si acaso. Gente, lo ha dicho. Ha dicho Cthulhu. <risa> lo ha dicho. Eh, cuaderno de la profesora Gilgas. ¿Por qué se le escucha aún? Porque está todo el rato en nuestra cabeza. El nuevo método ha comenzado a mostrar avances por fin. La tasa de éxito es del 4... De 4 de cada 10, mientras que los fracasos no responden ante ningún estímulo externo. No obstante, se puede afirmar que el sistema fonético es un éxito. Un, un, un léxico, no, un éxito innegable. Sin importar el idioma eh, nativo ni lugar de origen, los individuos aprenden a recitar el cántico a la perfección. Lo han aprendido rápido y de forma fluida, a pesar de carecer de autonomía mental. Lamentablemente, uno de los elegidos se sigue resistiendo. El aislamiento y las privaciones no han hecho más que aumentar su desobediencia. La negociación solo desató su ira e incluso tras la extracción de los lóbulos frontales y temporales, parece que se ha reducido todo a un deseo innato de resistirse. No se puede permitir que este elegido contamine las mentes de los demás. La conclusión es inexorable. No puede seguir viviendo. Me encargaré de que le envíen al pozo. Ha sacado el cerebelo. Una carta manuscrita, profesora. Confíe en mi guía, la luz del abismo, pues él iluminará a nuestros elegidos. Asegúrese de que, este, de que esté presente y que nuestro elegido no, pro, no pronuncie nada más que las palabras sagradas. Y contemplad, el trance comenzará y estaremos a un paso del universo más allá. Su tarea es esencial, ya que muchos en nuestro rebaño no hablan el idioma. Y el tiempo es oro. Sería recomendable trabajar en grupos, realizando al menos una sesión de espiritismo al día, durante una semana. Claro está, los miembros más escépticos tendrán que ser amansados. Mientras tanto, mi obra continúa como un método físico para mantener el estado de trance por medio de las ondas de luz que emiten las lentes que ha leído. Por último... Mis hombres de Nueva Orleans se pondrán en contacto en relación con el nuevo envío de elegidos. Hágales sitio como lo ha hecho antes. Oh, llave. Si es que así da gusto estar en, en un psiquiátrico, joder. ¿Esto qué es? ¿Una factura? No, un telegrama de Nueva Orleans. El banco tiene las gemas. Mi amo me ha pedido que realice el primer envío de elegidos. Llegarán a lo, eh, en dos semanas. No nos falle. Ah. ¡Qué fumada! Pues a mí es una fumada que me está gustando bastante más de lo que pensaba. No te voy a engañar. ¡Ay, Dios! Dynamo machine provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Full grain leather straps, impossible to escape. Hola, pajaritos. Ay, no. Ay. Con personas vale, pero ¿por qué el pájaro? Un 
No sé a qué te refieres. Please, no more. Stop it, Watson, John, somebody. Wretched mortal, do not fear what is to come. Let him rupture our world anew. Awake and let the world behold. Drogas, eso es. Exacto. The abyss is the light from the abyss. Get out of my head. Bueno. Cosas que pasan. Ahora, va, vamos a ver cosas distintas. No sé por qué me da que es por aquí. <risa> Watson, Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. I am fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered, on my word. What? She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Que se ha cargado a la, a la tipa. Eh, bueno, pues vamos a inspeccionar el cadáver. Supongo. Ay Dios. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The patients here wear the same robes. Uh Heidi. How did she it end up here? We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, no le quiero dar la espalda. No, no le quiero dar la espalda, eh. I had nothing to do with this Holmes, I swear it. No, no le quiero dar la espalda, eh. Falta... Este era, ¿no? El telegrama Sí Nueva Orleans Varias de las pruebas señalan eh, Ahora a Nueva Orleans Parece que los secuestradores Han eh, numerado los servicios De venta de gemas de la casa del banco Vale No me quiero comer un screamer juego Pero me espero Que... Que Hildy me va a saltar o va a pasar algo Así que me voy a poner en, en la seguridad de mi asiento Voy a ir contigo y te voy a decir ¡Nos vamos! Hemos tenido lo que necesitamos, Watson Esta conspiración se llega más allá de lo que pensamos No me parece que has nunca estado a New Orleans Estás jodiendo Yo siempre lo hago Vamos, no hay tiempo para perder Ah, pues no. Vale.
Vale. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of the person I recognized, lacking all else. She was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London. Report what we have discovered. Let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits. What dangers lurk in the darkness? Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request, kindly admit my mother and her son with you today. Of course. Thank you, John. Okay. Capítulo 4. Los extraños. Nueva Orleans. Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. I know, but you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just put everything back. Uh, where are the socks? These, uh, handcuffs. <laughs> are they yours? Madre mía. Vale. Eh, ¿Quién es el vendedor de joyas que se oculta tras la A? Can you satisfy my curiosity? Ah, I know this. Yeah. Let me help you. El banco se encuentra en la calle que sube al puerto en la margen izquierda de Capitanía Marítima, frente al barrio chino. Vale, a la izquierda frente al este chino. Vale, aquí es. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Vale, mi 
your beer. Guardia del banco es todo un personaje, se guarda un bocadillo en el bolsillo mientras lee a Branke Lincoln vivo, lo que le convierte en un pensador crítico que se lo plantea todo, hasta la verdad. En mi opinión me parece un necio paranoico. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? No, nope. that's why we send the invitation. Holmes, over here. Any luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Los lugareños afirman que tiene una tienda en el barrio chino que se llama Joyas Ocultas de Barnaby. Vale, Joyas Ocultas. How marvelous, Holmes. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. Are you able to help me? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. Ah, uh, por aquí. La tienda está cerrada. Pues si lo tienes detrás, es gilipollas. Satisfy my curiosity. I'm sorry, you should search for answers somewhere else. ¿Y dónde podría suplir esta necesidad que tengo? Vale, señor. This place is a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Vale, este es el barrio criollo. Puedo hacer algo con mi visión o no. Vamos a mirar. Por si acaso. 
Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Damn. He at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. May I ask you something? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. Los dos caballeros afirman que Barnaby les debe dinero, tiene fama de alcohólico y que está emborrachando en estos momentos en un bar local que se llama Jedi Gator, en el barrio criollo. Se le puede reconocer porque lleva un sombrero amarillo y una chaqueta verde. Vale. Y ahora sí vamos para allá. Sombrero amarillo. Sombrero amarillo. Pues mira. Look, Watson. The two of you are just alike. Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. Aquí está la invitación. Señor Van Barnaby. La casa del banco Tagray eh, le invita a participar en una subasta privada. Nos complace pre eh, presentar una extraordinaria colección de ópalos negros poco comunes a la venta. Eh, póngase en contacto con nuestra empleada para más información. Le rogamos que encarecidamente que lleve el traje más impecable que pueda y que venga sobrio. Un solo incidente más y le excluiremos de nuestra lista de compradores. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Holmes. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Bueno. Un poco hortera incluso para la época, las cosas como son. Pero vale. In a bartender's tip jar. Where's the money, Barnaby? I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. Mr. Barnaby. Er, uh, right you are. Shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? You seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Oh, come on in. Heavens, I have never seen gems so big. I simply must have them. Sorry, I'm just dealing with another client's request. Please wait a moment. This might be useful. I'll make a note. La casa del banco Gris agradece a sus distinguidos filántropos. Dilar eh, Artemillan, Barrio Francés, Artenson, Señor Thomas, Arkinson, Barrio Francés, Carter, Maycloud Chambers, Señor Thomas Clemens, Phil Mourengel, eh, Fiorol, eh, Marinch, Hartnett, Lengthwill y Hotel. Vale. No pasar. Vale. Is this familiar to you? It is impossible. Need to help you? I'm sorry. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. These gems are rather curious. 
What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never. I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity? Ha! Ah, what have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Okay! Sheriff Crude imparte la ley en Nueva Orleans, es bastante excéntrico, se cuida las uñas, su apariencia y su imagen. Sin embargo, es como una tapadera de su verdadera naturaleza de individuos poderosos y sin remordimientos de la comunidad local, que usa su imagen para distraer y disfrazar sus verdaderas intenciones. Figura destacada, el hombre intenta aparentarse una, sin embargo, solo es un engranaje menor Dentro de la maquinaria gubernamental, de hecho, se siente tan incómodo e insatisfecho con su papel que intenta compensar con torneos ridículos, aspectos de moda y un comportamiento amenazante. Sorry, Sheriff, but I don't have time for this. Now, Frank, when I'm talking to you, everything else waits. If I want to talk, you talk. If I say jump, you say off which pier. Do we understand each other? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud? Impersonation? That's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels around these parts. Feed them to the gators. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. Okay. Excuse me, just one question. You better have someone else. Is this familiar to you? I have no. no idea what you're talking about. I told 
told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. Vale, el barco está por aquí. Vamos a cambiar la, la, la ropa y nos piramos ya. No era por aquí Era por aquí Porque ahí está el tren Ah, vale. Oh, bollocks, now our clothes are in the blooming water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? What's up? Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. <laughs> you got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. The way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Sorry, is okay. that John talking or Frank? Oh, go annoy someone else while I visit the Nymph. Pues vamos a guardar. ¡Oh! Y con esto y un bizcocho ya tenemos para la 8. 